Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today I want to make a video, shaving video, uh, you probably read the title, on Latha. Some of you might be like, oh, which one is that one from Latha? It doesn't have any of the scents on it. Well, turns out I got this one a while ago and uh, the person that had it had it for a long time. And this is the original Latha in the black label. If you go to their website, they still have the black label and it's the same one. Uh, the other one will have the scent underneath where it says shaving soap and it will say lavender, oak moss, oak moss and something else. Uh, heliotrope, something like that. Um, so why do I want to do this one? So Latha is a product from Barrister and Mann. And pardon me if I screw up that name, but Barrister and Mann have great products like Le Grand Cipre, which I don't think I have made a video of this one. I have the soap for that too. And uh, they were a little pricey. The, the products are high quality, very, very nice products. So according to the website, uh, Son was talking to dad, the guy who makes us Barry Sturman, the guy who makes the soaps, and they wanted to make a soap that was uh, very affordable, but still super slick, tallow based, creamy, and uh, great performer. And these are like 10 11 dollars. And as you see, I'm quite low on this one, and uh, that's when I noticed that I haven't made a video on this soap. And uh, so I wanted to share with you because this is one of my favorite soaps and uh, Latha is a very, very good product. This one is a, uh, how they call it, classic barbershop. It has uh, hints of vanilla, lavender, and oak moss on it. Moss, oak moss, and uh, it's creamy and fresh and clean. Uh, but the performance is amazing. So let's get started making my face wet. So today I wanted to do a, a shave test on a, an eraser that I just recently honed in the past video uh, with an unknown stone. <laughs> unknown for a lot of people. Uh, hopefully, we'll get more uh, visibility because they're good stones so what i was doing was checking where this stone falls for straight racer guys um, stone has been used for nights before the seller specializes in knife honing or knife sharpening and he lent me a couple of stones, like four <laughs> of his stones to determine if they're finishers, if he can set a bevel on them, stuff like that. So I've been playing a lot with them. So I think this is, mm, ah, it scent is very, uh, it's, it's not too powerful, but powerful enough. It's, it's not mild, but it's, it's great. Um, so yeah, so I, I think the racer that I own, that stone is a uh, good pre-finisher, but I wanted to check if I can shave with it and that will tell me if it is a good pre-finisher or a good finisher. I have my trusty uh, uh, racer there just in case. This won't shave me, or it starts hurting, right? Let's see, let's get started. Would you look at that? I 
I guess you can finish racers with that stone. So, Jonathan Co. Your stone could be used to finish racers. Now. It is sharp enough. But I will still call it a pre-finisher. It's giving me a shave, very similar to what I will get. From an AK synthetic. Where it's sharp enough, but not the shave that I want to get every day. Maybe I could, but um, not super comfortable. Uh, still comfortable, not super smooth, that's the word. Definitely not an uncomfortable shape. Uh, doesn't pull. It's sh really sharp. But I am in love with my J nuts and the smoothness that smoothness that they provide. Cool thing about these tones, they are dark here in the United States. Mm. But enough with the stone. <laughs> that soap, I can still smell it. And it's almost all gone from my face, right? I feel like the scent gets enhanced a lot when you uh, lather it. So let me rinse off. Let's do a second pass. Really pleasant scent. Mm. The moss is 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 a really manly smell. I'm usually more into the sweet scent, but the vanilla provides that balance where it's not too sweet and not too. Uh, I was gonna say dry, like a wine, right? Uh, <laughs> not too sweet and not too not sweet, I guess. So. Razor is doing really good on the second pass. It actually feels better. Maybe I was too harsh on my critic earlier. So 
So if I was to use this stone again to finish, I'll probably do a little bit more refinement, go at it a little bit more. Um, but if I was to keep it, I would use it as a pre-finisher. Because I have harder, more slick stones that will enhance this edge just, just enough. All right, well everybody, my eraser passed the test. Thank you for watching. I am not gonna spoil this video with my aftershave. I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna make another video just on the aftershave, because it's the first time I tried it. So I wanna make two videos. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're interested, Laza, I heard their sandal is amazing. Try them out. Really great performance. Have a good one.